Once they get ready to go, you can all count it down with me. We'll count it down for five, four, three, two, one. kind of a recognition and tribute and like someone said earlier it's so much of a tribute to so many that are connected to me um, and so uh, but thank you so much um, I'll, I'll try to to uh, I'll try to express my thanks um, and just point out a few people that that have kind of been instrumental um, you see this this great uh, you know, statue and, and uh, how it came out. Uh, the artist, again, uh, I think his name, Omri and Lou, what a fantastic job, um, tremendous job. And you guys made me, you really made me look good. You know, something like this is a pretty big undertaking. Um, and there, there are those that you know, that we're really at the forefront of, of making this happen. Um, you know, I, I first I think about, you know, Mrs. Ford, uh, Sheila Ford Hamp. Uh, thank you so much. Um, you know, this doesn't happen without, you know, just one, resources and time and effort, um, know how. Um, and so, you know, others in the, in, you know, in my current Lions um, family and the current Lions organization, uh, who I want to just mention uh, as well would be, you know, Rod Wood, who was just up here. Um, and uh, obviously Coach Campbell, I appreciate your words. Uh, Brad Holmes, who's, who's down here. Uh, my former teammate, Chris, Chris Bellman. Um, Emily Griffin, who's been wonderful. Um, and uh, the person who I've worked with probably the most, uh, Kelly. Um, I ho hopefully I'm, I, I didn't miss anyone, but my current Lions family, current Lions brass, been tremendous and and um, making this day happen. And you know, all in the middle of the football season, uh, which I would think would be a little higher priority. So, uh, so, um, so thank you so much for for that uh, the effort. And hopefully, you know, um, hopefully my agent didn't pester and bother and threaten you guys too much. Uh, his name is JB. Here he is, right there. Uh, he has a way. He has a certain way about him. Um, you know, uh, he didn't mean he didn't mean anything, anything by the threats or whatever that he made. But uh, but no. Um, also, 
you know, another person who was instrumental in, in help, helping me pull this together would be my, my little sister, Krista. She's somewhere out here. Thanks for your work, Krista. Um, and my, my mom is, is here. She made a rare appearance to, to Detroit. So uh, I'm, I'm fortunate that... I'm fortunate. really fortunate that she's here and there's so much that um, that I can thank her for as her example um, just in leading our family um, and taking care of us and, and uh, nurturing us um, and so many so many great attributes that that I was blessed to have a mother um, like her so um, so yes, th thanks for that great clap for her, because she definitely deserves it. Um, and, uh, experience something like this and not think about my dad. I mean, we, we lost him in 2011. Um, and, you know, he's he was such a big sports fan. Um, just, he was a passionate sports fan. You know, very opinionated. Um, it's interesting to think about him. I wanna, I wanna try to pay tribute to him, but I know that in thinking about him, I know if he were here, he would tell all of you, you know, about how great of a running back Jim Brown was. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, he, he was the guy that didn't mind going off the script, uh, and, and you know, definitely danced to the beat of his own drum. But he's the reason why, one of the big reasons why I love the game, and and. Um, and also, he would always take all the credit. He never gave mom any credit, so I'm glad I could, I'm glad I could do that. But, um, and then I think about, you know, obviously playing the game most of my life, and I had the, the good fortune of being around um, coaches that, that really impacted me in a positive way. Um, you know, the first coach that that I'll mention is a gentleman who, you know, he came to my high school my senior year. Um, was it was his first year there, and and uh, I guess the middle of the fourth game that year, he said to himself, "I I think this Sanders kid is a running back." Before that, I had been playing a different position. Um, but he said, "I think this Sanders kid is a running back." Um, we remain friend, all, friends all these years. I'm delighted that I can honor him. His name is Dale Burkholder. Where's your coach, coach B? Um, there he is right there. Coach B. Appreciate you. And coach, coach B sent me off to Oklahoma State where I had a chance to, an opportunity to be around another coach. Um, that I uh, always love seeing and love spending time with. Um, he even had a chance to compete against him in, on a professional level as he moved on to the pros. But he coached me my Heisman Trophy year. Um, his name is Pat Jones. I don't know if Coach Jones is here, um, but uh, Pat Jones was, was my coach that year, and I want to recognize him. And then one of the first people that I met, one of the first people from the Detroit Lions organization that I met, and the year I was drafted. The spring of 1989, um, he came down to Stillwater, Oklahoma, where I went to school, and he took me through the, um, kind of a pro day there, you know. Ran the 40, did the vertical jump, a few other drills, um, and this coach pulled me aside afterwards, and he said, young man, if you're, if you're coming out of school, we're gonna draft you. Um, and he's also, you know, I had a chance to say hi to him a minute ago, and he reminded me to tell all of you, all of you that he's responsible for everything I've ever done. Uh, so he wanted me to tell you that, but his name is Wayne Fonts. Right here. We have to play years, play years together, man. Play years together. And I have to also, you know, just think about the team that I had the privilege to join uh, when I came here in 1989. And many of us are, are still friends and in touch. Um, just a great group of men. I had a chance to mention Chris Billman earlier. Um, I think about Kevin Glover, 